Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Migo Hospital. So today on Migo Hospital, we are going to attempt anyway. I have done this successfully, but we're going to attempt, because it always is possible for failure, to replace this broken leg pin on this green goblin. tape and as you can see the common knee pin busted on the type 2 Mego body. Now what you need is now you can replace this with a replacement pin but they're hard to find in fact I'm not even sure if they exist in uh, other colors other than flesh so I mean you would end up putting something like this in Oops. then you've got a uh, non-original looking repair I mean not that this would show anyway some people don't care but if you want it to be original what you need is an unbroken original pin and just so happens that's also a common thing on these Migos. They break and the pin stays intact. Well, what you need to do is you need to get the male part of this pin. In other words, the pointy part out without destroying it. And you need to get a female part with the just the hole in it because you're going to have to destroy that to get the good pin out um, it might be possible to pop these apart but from my experience they usually will break so this is the only method that I know for sure that will that uh, is sort of foolproof so you get the broken pieces out of your way and there's there's these are of no use you can't glue this back to the leg uh, these just never seem to hold this type of plastic you can't really glue it so the other thing we're also going to do once we um, get this out if you can see here this foot is cracked mostly on this side but eventually that's going to break off so what we're going to do is we're going to pop this foot off and replace it with this good foot which is not cracked so then we'll have a completely restored yet nude green goblin so why don't we do the foot first that's easy so what you need to do there is you need to have some sort of, of uh, tool to pop the pin out of the ankle. And what I just found works fairly good for me is one of these, I think these were for wigs or something. They're like a, uh, like a T-handle, like a pin, needle, whatever you want to call it pretty sure that's what I've seen them use they hold wigs to those foam heads so this one's got glue on the tip of it that's why it looks funny but it's just because I haven't scraped it off because I also use it to unplug the tip of my super glue <laughs> anyway you need to uh, pop this through I haven't found that either side usually makes a difference but the, the thing is you hit well sometimes if you got like this one the side that is indented more sometimes that will push through easier than the other one but you have to have um, something to prop it up on so you can push the pin through so I'll just use this because it's handy otherwise you'd be hitting the table most of the time you could just push it by hand sometimes you might have to tap it with something and there you go you see the pin, it's not even all the way out, but 
There is that that foot is just about to bust off right there. So that's pretty much garbage, but I'll hang on to it for the uh, in case I need like one of those ankle pins or something. Or if I got one that's missing a foot, at least that's a foot, even though it's broken. It's better than no foot. So here's the leg. Now obviously we can't just throw this leg on because the hoop's busted on the end. So we need to pull this one off. Let's see. Yeah, this one's got the same thing. The inside is a little bit recessed, so that'll probably push out easier from this side. And there we go. This happened to work good because this uh, inset in this tool is just far enough to push the pin through to get the foot off, but still leaves it in so you don't have to reinsert it. So there's your broken foot. In fact, I'll just throw this on here just so it's all one piece, even though it's pretty much useless now. Now you take and just basically reverse the thing. Now make sure you're putting the foot on the right way. See the bicep in the in the, the bicep goes to the back. So you just slide that in place. And you can just push it on. And if it doesn't seat all the way, then you just uh, just tap it in with something till it's flush. Like that. And there you go. You've got your repaired foot. So now we need to attach this to here. So what first thing we have to do is we have to get this pin out of here. Now since we already took the broken part out, now this pin will push that way. Now this is the female end, that's this part, like that, and we have to get this shoulder off. Now I took some of these snippers and I just snipped this off one previously that I did. What I, what I found works just as well, if not better, is to take your X-Acto knife and to go down, it's, it's actually, it might work better if I had something to put it on. Go down the side of it because this they're kind of soft. Spin it around. And do the same thing on 180 degrees off the other side. Just kind of cut through. Don't cut through the pin in the middle, just kind of cut through the the edge of the pin there. Now, when you take your snippers and you grab the lip, you see how it's like almost just basically just busting off right there? It's a little fiddly to do this, but I'm trying to show you. Let me get a better angle on this. There. It wants to spin in here while I'm trying to do this. See that? You see how it's breaking apart there? There you go. Broke the piece off of it. I'll do the same thing on this side. Oops. Now see that's why I was saying not to cut the thing if you possible because the things shoot everywhere. So you can kind of just tip it off to the side a little bit. And there goes another piece shut over. But I'll be chasing those around. Anyway now this will come right out of the leg. And then you got a spare thigh bone if you need it there. And then this 
usually it's split all the way down but this one didn't seem to go all the way down so now just simply finish your process here just carefully try not to damage the actual male part of the pin I'm doing this as slow as possible so that I'm cutting into the other pin and I'm not going deep in it. I'm trying just to basically split the plastic so I can just scoot this off of the shaft here I think I have it let me see Sometimes do both sides, it'll work too. Just helps. Sounded like it split. I mean, if you break it, you break it. They're a little hard to come by, especially in colors, so I'm, I'm trying to be really careful with this. And there's always a chance it could break when you try to put it together, too, but... This one's being a little stubborn, but it's coming. I think I got it. get it off of here there we go okay so there's the there's your extracted pin so now you take your let's get rid of this one now I've only done this a few times but like I said it has worked for me I just went like this with the pliers and, and I squeezed it together and it didn't really seem to do any damage to the uh, leg but I'm gonna put like this uh, broccoli rubber band around it you know for a little bit more cushion protection so for when I squeeze the pliers it doesn't make marks in the uh, plastic so basically okay here's what you got to do now now you take the female part and that goes on the inside of the leg. All right. Then take the lower leg and get that in place. Then take the male pin and push that in. You can push it in as far as you can by hand. It's not going to stay. So now here's the tricky part. Not tricky but cross your fingers part I guess it better. <laughs> <laughs> better description. So I'm going to put this rubber band around it to hopefully protect it. I've never done it with the rubber band before so I don't know how this is going to work actually to be honest with you. So okay, I think I got it. Now the last one I did I didn't even I didn't hear these pop so I don't know if they're supposed to snap together but it held when I got it done so now I felt that one actually I felt that pop so that went together and I didn't even have to squeeze it that hard and there we go perfectly replaced and fixed And he's done. So there you go. That's how you replace the Type 2 knee pins on the vintage Mego action figure. Thanks for watching. 
and I hope you'll come back for more.